Sir, so this is Mr. Vasil, a Ukrainian and a contractor in Nigeria here. While I talked with some of his staff, they said um, he's been owed a lot of money in the country. So as a result, he became hypertensive. And just a little beyond three weeks ago, they said they got to his room and realized that he collapsed in the room. He was stroked in the room. Went to the hospital upon investigations. They said it was intracranial aneurysm. And then the blood vessel had ruptured in the brain. In the, in the brain? In the brain. Blood vessel ruptured in the brain? Yes, sir. And he's alive? So he was brought in here about three Tuesdays ago. Comatose. Co oh, totally comatose. The same man. Totally comatose. Anybody saw that day? They showed him the picture this morning. He didn't know that he was in Dunamis on that day. He didn't know where he was. He didn't know. He was brought in like this. Last week, Tuesday, first something. Which Tuesday was that? 14th of 14th September. 14th September. That was a state of coma, sir. Show it again. It was around this side I came to lay hands on exactly. him. Exactly. Anybody saw it here? Right here. Here, right here. Those some were looking away. You, you were here. Some were looking away like, oh, this man is gone. It was like a case of brought in dead. What do you call this? PID. This was the three coma. In a state of coma, this was the third day. And then after that prayer, they were referred from the hospital where he was to another hospital. I think Nisa Premier or something. To another hospital. Yes. The following day, he regained consciousness. Wow. The staff, one of the staff confirmed that. The staff said that he talked. While he got there. The yes, exactly. He, he, he recognized her. She asked whether he recognized her. He said yes. I mentioned her name. And from then, progressively, on to what we have today. Oh my God. People stand up on your feet. Like they, they didn't show him the pictures of how he was that day. He's just seeing it for the first time. He's overwhelmed and he's weeping because he realized God, God brought him back from the dead. He says he's happy to see that he's like this. He's alive. Incredible. It must have been a very massive very very massive very what, massive what he aneurysm. went through at his age is not permitted to come out of it the doctors they were surprised yes um, we went for checkup like four or five days ago and the neurologist saw him he said was this this man not this man i saw at the icu i'm seeing him today i said yes he's the one he said wow that god loves this man he is they were all shocked they were all surprised the way he recovered immediately. Congratulations. The power of God is real. So real. The power of God is oh real. Oh my God. Oh my God. When prayer is praying, in the realm where you see nothing, things happen. The day you, you prayed for him, um, I, I, held, I, I, I was holding his neck, so I felt a very strong energy, like as in... So, because it was lifeless, that we brought him through with ambulance. Yes, practically so, lifeless. Yes, he was lifeless. Even when we, we took him to the hospital, the doctor confirmed, the doctor was saying, ah, this man, the, uh, that we should take him straight to the ICU because he's lifeless. And we were saying, God forbid, our daddy has prayed for him. We know he has recovered. And you say we should come back with testimony. Yes, and I this said is so. our testimony. Go and come this back with testimony. testimony. Are they here with testimony or not? Hey! hey. Are they here with testimony or not? Are they here with testimony or not? Somebody give the king the praise. This can go in coma, quarter to die on a wheelchair, in coma, completely gone. Today he's back alive, even though with a walking frame that he will soon drop. Beloved, celebrate the king of kings and lord. This can go. Everybody said this 
Everybody say this can go on. We never this can go on. When I don't know what to do, and I look up to you, hey, for we pray to go, you never fail. When I don't know what to do. Here is enough. It's enough. It's enough. 
is enough. I want you to dance for the next three minutes. Celebrate like God is bringing something back to life. If God can bring this man back from the dead. Listen. He got struck. Blood vessel in the brain became like balloon. Aneurysm busted. Intracranial hemorrhage. He became unconscious at this age. There should be nothing that should bring him out. He is not only back and alive, nothing called neurolog residual neurologic deficit, which means that he's alive, but one hand is paralyzed. He's alive, but one hand is blind. He's alive, but the ear is deaf. Something to remain, to show that he passed through such a thing. Not one. If God can bring this man back to life, anything dead in your life will come back alive. Anything dead in your system will come back alive. Anything that is wrong around you is coming back alive. And the second miracle is the money they are owing you. That is the reason for the hypertension and the stroke. The systems are put under pressure. They lose their sleep and peace and rest until what is yours is released. 